morning friends and happy Saturday. I wasn't sure if I was gonna vlog today, but I thought, you know what, I will. It's gonna be a fun day. We're gonna do some shopping. We're gonna do some eating. Um, I'm gonna be with my sister, with my niece, Hannah, and my mom. So I thought, what the heck, I am going to vlog and share this with you guys today. So, the guy came yesterday to give us the quote on the like building the pavilion and I asked him what do you call them gazebos pavilions or pergolas no I said do you call them pergolas or gazebos no I can't so and then he goes we call them pavilions and I'm like okay well then I am gonna start calling it a, a pavilion because I don't know like what that what they are so like anyway nonetheless so I just say like a nice big covered patio thing but a pavilion works so um, so he came out yesterday and um, we haven't received a quote yet obviously he's got to go back and do his little additions and all that good stuff and so um, funny thing though he is the same guy that came out and gave us a quote last year and at that time we were just like okay well we just kind of want to get an idea like a ballpark of how much it's going to cost for that and unfortunately i don't have his quote anymore i was looking it up through like all my emails and brian was looking it up through his emails and is that setting right i can't see yeah um and he was looking up through his emails and neither one of us could find it which is unfortunate but um he came out anyway which is really nice and i'm like hey i know you you were here last year <laughs> and he actually built the pergola excuse me the pavilions um at the neighbor's house in the cul-de-sac of the street over from us and she had three built so like two flat one big center one big one in the center with a peaked um roof and then another flat one and um so she had one of those done and um they're also putting in a pool this year so um but anyway when we seen him last year working on that when we had like you know called him over and okay nonetheless so we're just waiting for his quote that is all um so i'm hoping we will hear from him you know by the end of this weekend or something and he can give us a quote that way we can make our decision and we can tell one of them which one we're going to go with so um but yeah i'm excited i'm excited about that i that has been like something i've always wanted was to have one of those pavilions built and some like i haven't decided yet if i want to put the picnic table underneath there this is where you guys can come in and kind of help me out give me some suggestions what do you guys think so should i put the table that is in the backyard right now underneath our covered porch should i move that and put that out there or should I leave that where it's at and should I get just like furniture like that you know heavy duty like wiggery furniture um to put out there maybe like a couch and two chairs type of thing I'm just curious to know I was looking at some yesterday um and they they range anywhere from you know eight hundred dollars to over a thousand and they all come with blue cushions for some reason <laughs> so that's definitely not going to match the table cushions and everything that i have because those are all black um i would prefer all black that would be great but um i cannot uh they none of them none of the um, furniture pieces that I have found come in black like black cushions and stuff so um, it's whatever it's 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 gonna be what it is it is what it is blah blah uh, I'm gonna have to try to maybe like order other cushions so they all match you know patio but anyway um, yeah I was just curious to know what you guys thought what should I do should I bring that table down there or should I just do like a couch and chair type of thing so it's more like cozy and relaxing and more sitting um because for <clears throat> unless this guy comes back with a good price and we decide to do the fireplace with that um i just think like the having like a couch and some chairs over there would be really nice too to make it like cozier with the fireplace going and, and all that good stuff so i'm just curious i'm just curious to know what you guys thought but um but uh yeah so that's about it and i felt bad today for leaving brian because today is a today's saturday and it's a really really good nice day outside it's supposed to be like 72 maybe it's a little chilly right now it's like 56 um but he went fishing this morning and i'm happy about that he actually 
brought his little scooter and put it on the back of his golf cart and went down there to go fishing and um i just i was i'm happy that he went fishing because he's just been like so stir crazy cooped up in the house and not being able to go anywhere or do anything because of his foot so anyway i'm just glad he's fishing and i hope that he's okay and i think we're gonna do steaks and stuff on the grill tonight um and um asparagus and brussels sprouts which i'm i like asparagus but i can only handle so much asparagus and i'm just like okay i'm all asparagus out you know um but he loves asparagus so i'm gonna make brussels sprouts for myself and then i'll do asparagus for him and then we'll do like some potatoes or something on the side um <clears throat> But um, another thing that I wanted to tell you guys, so that um, Q-Lipta medication that the doctor prescribed for me, um, I have a pending status on my Walgreens app for that because um, it's obviously, it's pending um, for insurance approval. And they said, they showed me how much it was going to cost um, a month for this medication, and this is not with insurance approval, I would assume. Um, it said it was $3,700 a month for that q -Lipta. And um, obviously I'm like, uh, no, I'm not paying $3,700 a month for some medication, yes? I have, this is my second night, last night was my second night taking it, I have felt fine, I have not had any, any side effects from it. Um, Obviously, I haven't gone to the bathroom either, so I don't know if because I'm constipated now, but I wouldn't think that that would work that quickly. Who knows? Don't know. Um, but uh, no side effects whatsoever. But when they showed that it was like, good grief, girl, $3,700 um, for it, I was like, Ugh. okay. So with that being said, so yes, the, the other day when I was leaving the doctor's office, she gave me a card. Um, and it's like a Q-Lipta prescription savings card type of thing. And she said, text enroll to this number here and enroll yourself in this um, program. So um, you may have, you may be able to pay zero or um, zero dollars or it won't be $3,700 and she didn't say $3,700 because I don't know if she knew I'm sure she knows I'm sure these doctors know how much this medicine is going to cost people um, <clears throat> but and I so I was reading up on q -Lipta last night and I found out that the reason why it's $3,700 is because there is no generic brand of this medication um, available and I thought that's just crazy. So that's why it's $3,700. Like really? Wow. But so far so good. And I'm just like, it's working. I mean, I've only taken it two nights in a row, but I haven't had any side effects. And that's like the main thing. Cause I'm all a bit, I'm all about not taking medication with side effects. I mean, nobody wants to feel like poop when they're taking a medication that's trying to help them not feel like poop. <laughs> right? So, so far so good. Um, so I'm hoping that with me enrolling in that prescription savings thing through q -Lipta, that I will, um, and it gets approved through my insurance, the medicine, then I can take that card and show it to them at the Walgreens and they will say, okay, either you don't have to pay anything or you have to pay whatever the amount is and it doesn't say how much it just says you may pay you may have to pay up to zero a month for it so I'm just trying to just trying to see what I can get now I don't mind paying I, I think my limit would probably be a hundred dollars a month for that um, obviously because it's really good medication so far it's working and um, I, and I would definitely pay $100 for it a month. And it is a monthly prescription. You only get 30-day refills. Now, however, they did say on that one that, which again, I would think that it would be more than, um, since it's $3,700 a month for a 30-day supply, they said that you might be able to get it a 60, 90-day supply to save you a little bit of money. But I don't, that wouldn't be $3,700 a month. That would be $3,700 times three, right? Because you're giving a three-month supply at 90. I don't know. I don't know. But nonetheless, I would not pay $3,700 a month for that. That's absolutely ridiculous. And I find that to be very, very um, disheartening for people who actually 
um, need medication and can't afford the medication. Um, so I, I definitely, that's just very, very sad. So, um, but anyway, I just kind of want to share those few things with you guys today. I'm um, so far, it's already a 10 minute start of this vlog. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to stop at Starbucks here in just a few minutes and then make my way to pick up my mom. And um, I'll see you guys at Starbucks. Oh, no. I wasn't expecting this. A huge long line at Starbucks. No, no, no. Uh, what? Okay, so I'm actually going to like hope that this goes by fast. And I'm going to wait and I'm going to keep enough room between the cars in front of me. So if I need to squeeze on out, I will. That is so unfortunate. Okay, so I'm going to go back to talking again. Um, <clears throat> so I love all of the fact that a lot of you guys responded back to music that you guys like and enjoy. So a lot of us are kind of like all on the same page. Um, I do, you know, it's funny. I do like a few little bit of country music. Um, obviously I really prefer like old school country music, Johnny Cash, Dolly Parton. Um, so I, I prefer that Willie Nelson. I mean, come on. Um, I like all the old school ish, but I do like me some Miranda Lambert and a few of Carrie Underwood. Um, I will say Carrie Underwood. Let's, let's chat about Carrie Underwood. Should we chat about Carrie Underwood? Okay. We're going to talk about Carrie Underwood for a little bit. So I always like Carrie Underwood's music. She's got some really good songs out there. However, when she, um, got fell and cut her lip, um, several years ago, um, she was making such a big deal about the fact that she doesn't want to have a scar on her lip. And I, to me, I thought, you know what? You have the, probably the best surgeons in the world to help you fix that. So you don't have a scar on your lip because you don't want to be, you know, have this really bad look on your face. Um, but my thought was, you know what? Stop being so selfish about that because there's people out there with deformities on their faces, on their bodies, without limbs, and she's crying about a little tiny scar on her lip or on her face that she's afraid that's, you know, that she doesn't want to have on there. So I kind of lost a little bit of respect for her in that aspect. Um, but come on, come on, girl, you'll be fine. You have all the surgeons in the world to fix all that. So, um, I still have some Carrie Underwood songs on my phone. Not to say that I don't. I have I have Miranda Lambert. Oh, and I have um, uh, Pistol Annie's on there. Love me some Pistol Annie's. And I think the reason why I like Pistol Annie's is because that they're sassy, they're fierce, they're feisty. They're just like women, gusto women, like don't care, don't care what anybody has to say type of thing. So I like that. And I love the Dixie Chicks back when the Dixie Chicks were the Dixie Chicks, you know? So I'm okay with that too. Um, I love um, Billy Joel. I love Pearl Pink Floyd. Um, and somebody asked me the other day if I've heard of Godsmack. Yes, I've heard of Godsmack, but I would have to like hear a song to know what song is from Godsmack. So, but, um, but otherwise, thank you guys so much. That was kind of fun. I was just kind of interested to see, you know, what everybody's music taste was what they listened to hey and i used to listen to a lot of gospel music music too years and years ago um i love me some um uh cc winans i loved kirk franklin um loved a lot of that stuff so i mean and i grew up in a pentecostal home so i grew up with a lot of gospel music so i know a lot of gospel music for sure um that is definitely something i don't like to listen to <laughs> anymore um every once in a great while I, i'll kurt franklin you know i'll be like yes love me some kurt franklin but um other than that that's about it but i'm gonna still waiting in this line it's actually moving rather quickly so i just kind of thought maybe talking would help bring this on a little bit um in the meantime i have water Always, always, always carry water. Ooh, another thing I wanted to show you guys. So these are my new like sunglasses that I got the other day. And I didn't realize that they have a really pretty like um, uh, design on the inside. I wish they were on the outside, but that's fine. But they're so cute. Look how pretty these are like on the outside. Um, and I, these are Kate Spade. Yeah, these are Kate Spade. I think well, all of my glasses are Kate Spade. Yeah. They are all Kate Spade, and I showed you the case that they came in the other day. So, um, but anyway, so that's it. I'm gonna wait until I move up, and then I'll order my coffee.
Patients. What can we get started for you? Uh, yes, hi. Could I get a venti white mocha, please, with um, caramel drizzle, caramel syrup, hot? I broke it. I think I need to Anything find it. Anything else for you? No, that is it. Okay, it's going to be 801 at the window. We'll see in just a moment. Thank you. I have this little um, charger thingy that goes, uh, plugs into the, in my arm. They <laughs> get what I'm trying to say. So I have this little charger thingy. See this little thingy right here? This actually plugs into my little console here in, in the inside. And then I have a cord here that you put in this end. It's like an USB thing. You plug it in like this and then you plug this in. And then this end I always plugged my fans in with. So my fans would always be charged when I'm in the car. I broke this the other day because I did not unplug my fan and it was sitting in my purse and when I got up and moved it all like popped out and it bent this and now this isn't staying in there and this isn't staying so I'm like okay so basically what I need to do is I have to figure out how to order one of these I need to get another one of those and I don't know what this is um, there is a little scan thingy on it I'm not exactly sure what this is called but I'm gonna have to figure it out because I need one um, and I think it actually came with the car this little thingy and um, I need to get a new one because it doesn't stay in my little and I, I may have broke, broke the inside thingy which that seems quite possible oh no that's gonna suck big time my hair <laughs> put my glasses up okay so I'm gonna have to call my friend here in just a little bit and have her book some reservations and do one in Ray's name and one in our name and do it for like 12 15 or something that is crazy oh my goodness where's Tootsie girl hi Han blue and blue matching. oh you did I thought you were gonna wear your shoes today because I'm like oh then we can like match our shoesies those are cute though guess where I got them where Aldi Aldi? Oh, oh, there's Bradley. He has my old navy card. Oh. Hey, beauty. Oh, hey, boo. Here's your card. Yeah. <laughs> Leaving money by the nightstand. <laughs> How you doing? Good. How are you? Yeah, you left in a hurry this morning. <laughs> you left your hat. Come by later. <laughs> Bye. Where's Parker Pooksies? Oh, where'd she go? I love your, your dress. What are you, uh, a princess? Yeah, princess. Of course she is. Hi, pretty princess. Okay, I get it. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bradley. Hey, hey, pretty princess. Okay. She can wear her pretty princess dress. Hi, Parker. Hold you in this princess dress. So if you're gonna wear the dress, you're gonna have to walk. You're gonna hold hands. Almost okay, here. you can hold mommy's hand. Courtney's almost here to pick up Parker. Okay. What in the? <laughs> Mom, you have to get your two birthday gifts real quick though before you go to Old Navy. Oh, okay, thanks. Because you might need one. <laughs> so you might need one. Is this one mine? Yeah. Oh. There's, uh, look. Uh huh. There's sixty dollars on both. Good deal. Oh hi. Thanks. Yeah. Put little Parker in a pageant. I know. Oh my god, this is so much. See, Hannah's like it's so embarrassing. I'm no so way. Like that lady is looking at her, just laughing at the storm. Not, she is, not, she she is not too up. much. There you go. Hold, Hold it up like a princess. Up. There we go. Very nice, Parker. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> so I did get a few things there at Old Navy. I'm gonna try those pink shorts on. They may fit or not. What did you get, Mom? Those. Oh, short leggings. Oh yeah, okay. Bike shorts. They were on sale for six dollars. Oh, the bike shorts. Yeah. Oh, that's a good deal. I told her if I had known that, I said I would have got a couple got more. Got more. I went back there, but they didn't have those. I wanted the khaki green color, oh. and um, they didn't have any large. Oh. But yeah, I've been looking at these, so but they're so small. Like that one's a good size. Yeah. Yeah, that one's a really good size. Like and I love the crossbody. $34, you can't beat it. Yeah, no, I like that. Oh, here's the blue Is there one. a black one? <gasps> oh, oh, black, right here. Oh, With the yes. Oh, perfect. That is cute. And I love the blue too, though, Hannah, because blue's like, I don't know what I get, blue or black. I always do black. I need to do something different. Oh, what a good selection. I know, I do like that, though. And that's a great crossbody. 
These are great. Look at us. Oh my gosh, so adorable. I just love this. It's so small though. It's so cute. It like, is cute, but it's so small. Yeah, that's cute, like Liz. Is that not adorable? No, no, that's not adorable. <laughs> Yes, that's adorable. I one pieces, and but I I'm think gonna try. that would be great for. Oh, I'm gonna go try. Where's, the dressing rooms are right there. Okay. So stand over there and let me see. Okay. But you can't see me in my bathing suit. Okay. All right. Holler when you're ready. It's adorable. Does it fit you nice? Yeah, and look, it's not short. No, not at all. I can wear this to work even. Um, and white sandals, or white even sandals. silver sandals. Mom, mom, look at this dress on Liz. Mother, Carolyn, look at this dress on Liz. Mom, and look, it's not short at all. Yeah, it, yeah it's kind of short, but no. But once it's all together, like this is that. A, this is a large, though. Yeah, that's cute. That's adorable. Yep. Yep, like it. Yep, that's cool. Right, I'm gonna try this baby suit. Okay. Of course, we all love this. That's thirty-four ninety-nine. That is a great bag. I mean, you know, you're going to Disney when you use that, right? That is cute, cute, cute. Thirty-four ninety-nine. I think that's a pretty good deal pretty good price for that what ma that's cute it's too small but what oh Bradley got the stump out wow. look how big this stump is guys. oh yeah um so mom did you enjoy your lunch yes you did it was good yeah we both we all had bourbon did you have the bourbon chicken or the bourbon salmon yeah yeah it was really good and now we're gonna go into Ross really quickly where did James work Oh, okay. He probably parked a little bit closer. Oh, <laughs> they're, they're laughing because I park way out here. And I'm like, we're just going to get our steps in. And it's windy, and if somebody hits my car, you know. Uh, it feels very nice outside. It is nice out here. I like yeah, the breeze. It's just a little too windy. If it wasn't windy, it would be perfect. Right. It's a nice breeze today, baby. It's perfect. Here, let's do a thumbnail. Instead of a tweezy, baby. <coughs> Come over here, mom. No, you don't have to put your thumbs up. No, no I was like, put your thumbnail. <laughs> you did this, Angela. Well, I did do it, did I? Because I was yeah, thinking, yeah, so, okay, so, 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 like, so we're ready to come in together. Why? Where's my mom? Okay, yay, good deal. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, so that is going to be a wrap for our little shopping day out. We had a really good time. I obviously didn't want to pull the camera out when we were all eating and getting our food because we were just kind of all chatting and talking and just enjoying the time. And I'm sure you guys completely understand that. Um, but anyway, I'm almost, I'll be home probably in about 45 minutes or so. And I'm hoping that I can just um, pull my hair back, get my jammies on, wash my face, take my makeup off, and just chill for the rest of the evening. And it is 3.40. <laughs> and I probably won't be home till about 4.15 or so. So, anyway, but thank you guys so much for hanging out. Did you guys enjoy this little video? I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to add to it tomorrow. It just depends on how long this is. But we shall see. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Oh, actually, wait. I will show you guys all the things that I bought today. That's what I will show you guys. Probably not today, maybe tomorrow, maybe Monday. We shall see, I'll figure it out. Alrighty guys, so I just wanted to quickly pop on here and just share with you guys a few of the things that I picked up yesterday when I went shopping with my mom, my sister, and my niece. So the first thing that I picked up was this cute Steve Madden bag. I do love this and I actually would like to go back and get like the black one. I wish they had a pink one. I just, it's just super cute. I love the strap on it and I love the fact that it is a crossbody bag and it fits me so well as a crossbody. Let me see if I can show you guys. Hold on. Alrighty, so this is what it looks like on with the crossbody. Um, it actually comes with this cute little like purse that zippers and it attaches to the side right here. Um, I actually think it's really good for a set of keys, maybe chapstick, whatever you wanna keep in here that is small. But right now I just have my keys in there. And then um, the inside of it is like, it's. I don't think it's like leather it might be or a pleather but anyway um it does have like a cute little pocket right here in the front and then it has um just one big huge pouch that you can just put 
all of your stuff in so but i really love it and i love the color i don't have a purse that's blue and i thought you know what what the heck i'm gonna try something different and I like it and it just has a lot of room to it and a lot of space as well. So I'm really happy about it. So I'm gonna show you guys the other stuff that I got next. Alrighty, so I really wanted to try all of these on and show you guys what they look like on, but um, I just don't have time right now. So when I wear them, I will show them to you. Um, so first things first, I got this really cute, like stretchy, it's a probably like a tennis skirt. Um, and I got this um, because I wanted to try to wear it to Disney when we go. Um, and it's got like the little shorts and stuff made underneath it. Um, really, really cute. I know my sister got one and Hannah got one as well. Um, then I got this cute long white shirt that's it's like a, a button-up shirt but it's really long and it goes past your butt so I'm hoping that this fits me I think it should um, and it's short sleeve so that's really really nice I think it would look cute with a pair of leggings I got a black one just like it and then I got this cute little set which is shorts these shorts which I love the striping on them. And then it has a jacket that matches it. So like a little sport jacket. I thought this was just super cute. It caught my eye right away and I'm like, oh, I need that. Super darn cute. And then this is the black one that I got. The black shirt, just like the white one. I love it, super cute. And then I got a pair of pink shorts. Now I'm not exactly sure how these shorts are gonna work, if I'm gonna like them, if they're gonna even fit. But um, I did get them and they got the like, they're cut off type of shorts. And I just love the pink. I don't, I don't think I own a pair of pink shorts and I just thought their bright colors are just super, super cute. And if I like them and they fit, I might like go back and get um, a few more. But that is all I picked up while I was out. And um, I just wanted to show that with you guys, share that with you guys really, really quick before I um, edited this video. That way it could be in the same video of shopping. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.